An illegal immigrant accused of murdering five people, including a mid-Missouri man, is now appearing in court. Good evening, I'm Joey Parker. And I'm Marissa Holloway. You might remember Pablo Serrano sparked a massive statewide manhunt that ended in Montgomery County back in March. He's accused of shooting four people in Kansas City before escaping down I-70. ABC 17 Sarah Massler Donar joins us live from the Montgomery County Courthouse where he had his first appearance since his arrest and suicide attempt. Sarah? Yes, Joey, in just the past 10 minutes, I was actually able to talk to the daughter of Randy Nordman. He was the, per he was the man that was killed back in March and that, and that Pablo Serrano is suspected of killing. She says that just watching Serrano walk into the courtroom, she said he scanned the court and he just made eye contact with her and she said she felt like there was nothing going on behind his eyes. She felt uncomfortable and it was hard seeing that because she said her father was every Everything to her, and so these next couple, these next couple months with these court proceedings, she said is going to be very difficult. But she says she's going to get through it with her family. Uh, her uh, Randy Norman's niece was here today, as well as Randy's wife's sister and so she was here today but also coming from Kansas City was Ruth now she is actually the wife of one of the men who was killed in Kansas City and his uh, her husband's brother and brother was also killed as well so those are the other murders that Pablo Serrano is suspected of committing and of course that will that trial will happen now after this Montgomery County one happens as well and just a breakdown a little bit of a breakdown of today there were several witnesses that came forward including the the uh, a forensic pathologist as well as law enforcement and they just kind of were talking about the night that it happened as well as the autopsy of uh, Mr. Nordman and then there is also evidence brought forward as well including the rifle that Serrano was found with as well as a ballistics report that showed that a cartridge found by Nordman's body was shot from the gun that Serrano was found with now coming up at 9 and 10 I'll have more from Tasha Nordman's daughter as well as Deanna uh, the sister of um, of Nordman's wife, and we'll have their reaction coming up tonight. Reporting live here in Montgomery County, Sarah Masler-Donar, ABC 17 News.